Welcome, everybody, um, to our sixth episode of Banished Colonial Charter, The Forge Awakens. Um, I'm Corey's babe. Welcome. Um, this is actually the second time I'm going to record this. Um, the first time I recorded for a good 20 minutes and the sound was terrible. Um, you couldn't hear anything. So hopefully the sound is better on this recording. Okay, so let's see what we're doing. Right now we're building a school and the dock market that we ended in the last episode. Plus it looks like, yeah, I threw in a few houses that are also getting built right now. Um, let's look at how we've all, how we're all set up so far. We've got three forest nodes. Um, one, two, and three. We've got a small rock quarry over here, which I'm thinking we should go ahead and open up and get that going. Let's take this down to uh, two people, I guess. Put two people working in there. And, oh, I've turn it on. And then of course we have to check the clay pit because the clay pit actually works like a, a rock quarry. Um, we'll just keep the one guy working in there for now. Um, let's see. Oh, what's this guy? Tools, copper, furniture. No, that's okay. Goodbye. Um, then we've got this little tool node thing going on right here with a couple of couple of different um, blacksmiths. I really like this model. It's so medieval. Anyway, um, let's change him to making actual iron tools because they'll actually last longer. Plus, let's increase this limit to 200. Um, that means we need to get some furnace fuel going. We'll use, we'll make it out of firewood. And this guy also to regular iron tools. Um, right now we have 46 iron, so hopefully, uh, let's see, how many people are working in here? We need to turn this up. Actually, we don't because I'm pretty sure that we have quite a bit of iron ore. We have 420 iron ore and we're going to be collecting more. So I think we're going to be fine with that. All right. This guy. Um, let's go ahead and add another guy. So there's now two people working in the foundry. Okay, we still, we only have six laborers. All right. Okay, so my plan for this episode is, of course, to try to expand some more. And I had a few things on my list of things to do. I'm thinking that um, we need to put in a couple of apiaries so that we can get some a chandler going so that we can um, produce some candles because we need candles to upgrade our minds to keep our minds even going so I'm thinking we're gonna put a couple apiaries and I'm liking this spot right here Let's 
put him right here. Oops. And I'm thinking right over here. Beside these houses. Expand the road. I should have left a gap, did I? I don't think I did. Mm -hmm. need to leave a gap, so I'm going to start over. Let's put the road in first. Thinking we'll put a road like that. Alright, put that in here back in. road. Maybe we extend it over here. There we go. All right. So there's two apiaries. Maybe we should speed this up a little bit. Okay. Two apiaries. And then I'm thinking we need to put in another little church. And I'm thinking we need it in this area. So I was thinking right beside the school. Okay. And it looks like we're going to need lumber for that. Let's check to see if we have enough Oops, lumber. We have 61. We need 25, so that's good. Alright. Uh, let's see, what else? Now, Chandler, I'm thinking that this over here should be, we should expand our industrial. So that we can put in a glass works and a brick works and, you know, start producing our own um, building supplies and home supplies and stuff. Oh, cool. Our little market's done. Let's go look at it. Oh, I love it. I just love it. I love this building. It's just so cute. It's got the little barrels and the, it's got, you can see the little fish and I, I just think it's a cool building. Let's go ahead and put somebody in there. Okay. All right, let's get back over here. Um, <coughs> so Anyway, I'm not really sure yet, but I'm thinking that we're going to expand on our industrial and we're going to do it like over here because we can put in a couple more mines on this little hill. Um, so this is going to be like a little mini village maybe. That's maybe what I'm thinking. So um, let's see. Let's put in a couple roads. And let's extend it all the way over here. I'm not really sure how far down. And then, hmm. I know I should be using stone roads, but because, see, I'm out of stone again. Because of my stone problem. Um, you know what? 
I think we need to collect a bunch of stuff in here. I think we should just do it all. So let's like from here all the way over and all the way over here. I throw in a stockpile that I can get rid of later. I'm just going to put it right there. Um, let's see what this guy has. Tin, rough tools, and firewood. Yeah, I, I think we're good to go on that. Thanks. You can go. Okay. So, hmm. Let's see. How should we do the road this way? Um, I'm going to put that there to break it up, I think. And I like to have three spaces between because it makes it nice and... So one, two, three, four. And that's where we're going to put that road going that way, I think. So mm, hopefully I end up liking this. Um, all right, Chandler. How about right mm, here? Oh, they also need lumber. I think I'm probably going to have to get some lumber. Okay, and then also, we need to put in a hospital before we end up in a major disaster. And I'm going to use the... Um, the... The RK mod, Red Ketchup mod, the hospital, the medieval clinic. Um, because we can expand on it later and build on top of it. And also, I just think it's a, it's a cute building. And we're going to put it right beside this guy with a space between. So we need two spaces so that we can maybe build on top of it and put that right there. Okay. Um, let me see if we have enough lumber. No, we don't. So we're going to go over to this guy and start getting some lumber cut so that we have enough. All right. Okay, let's see where we stand. We need to finish some of these buildings before we add any more work, I think. It looks like we're doing good with our firewood. We're doing okay with food. Um, we're doing good with tools. We got a little bit of stone. Need a lot more. Okay, so we just need to get some of these buildings built. So I think before we put in anything else to do, I think I'm going to speed this up to times 10 and try to pound out some of this stuff. So basically we added a couple apiaries, a chandler, a church, and we're still waiting for the school to finish building. And they are running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Plus, I'm, I'm having them collect all this stuff over here. That takes a while. Look at our areas. 
I love this sawmill. I think it's an awesome model. <laughs> really fits in with the rustic feel. This foundry is awesome too. It's a pretty nice model. I mean, you can see the fire going in here. It's just, it's really a beautiful building. Okay, let's see, did I finish it anything? done with the school. Let's go over and look at that. <coughs> oh good. Put another teacher. this area right here in front of the school even though it's in the woods <laughs> I hate it when I can't see the front of a building um, how about we just put a little road right here Yikes. Oh, one of our apiaries is done. Can't really see it, but <laughs> uh, we're add somebody to work in there. Start producing honey, start producing beeswax. Oh, there's a trader. Oh, iron. Hmm. Should I buy that iron? Let's see. Do I might purchasing iron? Maybe I should purchase a little iron. I've got it set up to automatically purchase logs and stone. Maybe I should go ahead and have him purchase a little bit of iron for a while. How about 100 iron when the merchant arrives? Um, we'll go ahead and buy this. 250. 10. Trade. Dismiss. Okay, the other apiary's done, so we'll get two um, people working in apiaries. That gives one, f one in each for now. Parish house is almost done. We'll switch this back to firewood. Parish house is done. Add a cleric. That'll make the people happy in this area. Okay. Um, how's it going over here? I know we're do going on times ten, which I really don't like to do. But I'm trying to finish what we're doing before I add more tasks for them. trying to decide where exactly I'm going to put everything. I guess it's just hard because once you start really laying down buildings, it you you know, you, it's a lot of work and a lot of tearing down to change it. So Okay, so anyway, there we're waiting for them to finish the clinic and the chandlery and get this area cleared 
And then on, I think this is a good place to end. On our next episode, we'll work on our industrial area. Um, our sand, you know, getting sand and getting a brickworks, glassworks, home supplier, our trading, actual regular trading post going. And yeah, I think that's what we'll do in the next episode. So um, until then, um, I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you did, please leave me a comment and a uh, like would be very helpful. And Or, you know, if you want to um, be notified of the next episode, um, please subscribe. It um, would help me out a lot. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching.